27 Investigates continues our Housing in the Valley series. We've heard complaints about increasing costs. We wanted to see where rental prices are going, how we got here, and what goes into the price you pay every month to keep a roof over your head. Tonight, First News anchor Samantha Bender shares a local property owner's perspective. If you're a renter in the Valley, you've likely been shelling out more money in rent, but some are paying more than others, and it ultimately comes down to who owns your property. The real estate market has seen a big shift in corporate buyers. Jeff Simon is the president of Simcoe Management Corporation based in Girard. He's a third generation owner of the company following in his grandfather's footsteps. He says the price of everything from plumbing parts to roofing has gone up drastically. Everything goes up. Nothing hardly ever comes down these days. Simon says many property owners have seen this as a good opportunity to institute aggressive rent prices. So we started seeing crazy rent increases from our competitors, 100 bucks, 150 bucks a year, where historically, uh, I would think they'd be, you know, 25 bucks a year. But this is something Simon couldn't in good conscience get behind, especially as a Valley native. Even though inflation was up at one time, eight, nine percent, I said, my family's going to eat half of it, and, and, and the residents will share half of it. Simon says he increased his prices by 4 to 5 percent, as opposed to 10 percent plus, and sent a letter out to tenants notifying them. I think people have been hit hard enough in this valley, uh, northeast Ohio and western Pennsylvania, where we do business, and I didn't want to be the straw that broke the camel's back. So. That's the approach we took. Just like gas prices change, rental prices can change too, based on supply and demand, but... It seems like lately, in the last 10 years, bigger companies are coming in from out of state, or certainly from out of town, and they do things differently. They, they're, they're absentee landlords, in a sense. They don't live here, so they don't... It's strictly an investment to them. In terms of whether rent prices will stabilize or come down, Simon says that would only happen if new apartments are built or people move away from the area, decreasing some of the demand. I want a long-term relationship with our residents. I don't want them to be here because we're holding them hostage because they have nowhere else they can move to. I want them to want to be here. Reporting for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Samantha Bender. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.